This is Bob, a first grader in Miss Archer's class. Today, they are starting Core 5. Miss Archer takes some time to introduce the Core 5 program to her class. She shows Core 5 activities on the board, explaining the kinds of screens the students will see and the tasks they will be asked to complete. After some reminders about how headphones work, Bob is ready for the auto placement. While working in the auto placement, the Apple icon on Bob's screen is blue. Once Core 5 has enough information about Bob's strengths and skill gaps, it places him in the appropriate level. Miss Archer logs into MyLexia and checks the auto placement report for her class. She can see each student's placement within the program, as well as who is below, in, and above grade level material. Bob is placed at level nine, which is within grade level material for first grade. The next time Bob logs into Core 5, he is directed to his student dashboard, where he can see how many minutes he should be on the program this week. When he's ready, he clicks the arrow and begins with a quick warm-up exercise. Now, Bob is ready to choose his first activity. Bob starts working in standard step, as indicated by the green progress bar. After getting a couple of answers incorrect, Core 5 branches to the guided practice step, the guided practice step is indicated by the blue progress bar. When Bob still has trouble with this task, he moves to the instructional step. Core 5 has identified that he needs direct instruction in this skill and provides support. In this step, the progress bar turns yellow and the background turns white. Bob is able to practice the skill with visual and auditory scaffolding and is successful in completing this step. When he returns to standard step, however, he continues to struggle and has moved to the instruction step again. Now that he's made this journey twice, the apple in the lower left corner of his screen has turned red. As the apple turns red on Bob's screen, Miss Archer is alerted in her MyLexia account that her student needs help. She's linked to a Lexia lesson that targets the specific skills that are giving Bob trouble in the program. The next day, Miss Archer is able to pull Bob aside during computer time to deliver a quick vowel combination lesson. By working with his teacher and practicing with the word tiles provided in the Lexia lesson, Bob feels better prepared to tackle the online activity. First grade teacher Shannon Peebles reflects on how features of the online program support literacy growth in her class. So if I have a student that's practicing bossy E and they are given the basic teachings for it and then they're given opportunities to do it. If they struggle two or more times, then they'll go into a little reteach mode and they'll kind of support the student with more information, more opportunities for quick practice. Then they take them back to the main area and they're able to then see if they've learned it. If they haven't learned it and they struggle again, then they go into a very direct instruction. And then you know that Lexia has taken them to a deeper direct instruction. So I love how Lexia sets it up to be, um, we're going to teach a little skill. We're going to see if they get it. If they get it, they keep moving and progressing. If they don't get it, we're going to do a little reteaching, a little instruction, and then let them move on if they get it. Then finally, if they don't, we're going to go into <laughs> practice, practice, practice until they do get it. And I think that's just phenomenal teaching. It's what we want to do in our own teaching in our classroom is start with the big picture, see who gets it, then who needs support, and then who needs to be pulled aside for direct instruction. And if you watch any lesson with a kid who's struggling, you see that step by step and it's wonderful. So you know that they're getting great instruction. So that screen time is so intentional and so targeted for one child. So a child could be doing bossy E on one Lexia and another one could be doing it, but the way they're getting instructed is actually very completely different and very individualized based on how they're progressing through it. Consider your own students as they progress through Core 5 and as you monitor their MyLexia data. Remember, we've reviewed auto placement, instructional branching, and individualized instruction that are components of each student's personalized learning experience in Core 5.